What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and welcome to our problem of the day. Let's go. So first things first, if you haven't heard this before, I've said this a million times and I'll say it again. The first thing you need to do is read the question. Always gonna be the first thing you do. So the question reads, what was Greg's average speed throughout the entire trip? So that's the first thing you always wanna do. Go to the question because if you don't start with the question, Really, the information just looks like a tornado of just stuff. And we don't want that. We want to know why this information is useful so we can make the best decision moving forward, right? So let's go ahead and do that here. So what was Greg's average speed throughout the entire trip? Now, that right there, entire trip, very important. Because if we're asking for the average speed, that you're already talking about distance rate time. But you have to understand the specifics of the situation. What do I mean by that? So again, what I mean by that is our formula is distance equals rate times time. Like, I think we all know that in some way, shape or form, we might recognize that. But here's where it's super important. If we're asking for the average speed for the entire trip, then that means that the distance that we need to plug in and the time we need to plug in to find the rate, because again, average speed is rate, but what we're gonna plug in needs to represent the same thing. So remember, distance rate time, every piece of the formula needs to represent the same scenario. So if we want the rate or the speed for the entire trip, we need the distance for the entire trip and the time for the entire trip. Is that starting to make a little bit of sense there? All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So let's write that down. Let's write that down. Again, we're gonna need the distance for the entire trip the rate for the entire trip, and the time for the entire trip. That's the only way we'll get this done. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the information we have so we can start piecing things together and so that we don't get tricked. Let's go. So up there at the top, it says, starting from home, Greg drove 40 miles per hour for two hours. So notice, we already have a rate given to us, miles per hour. So let me go ahead and just write that down there. 40 miles per hour, right there. But then it says for two hours. Now, is that the entire trip? No, it's not. So that's the thing. You already see a rate, but it's not the whole trip. So you need to keep that in mind. So again, you know, the first part of the trip, we see 40 miles per hour for two hours. Sounds good. Then here in the second piece, what we see is, okay, then he took a one hour break. Sounds good. So the second part of the trip is literally just a break. So one hour break. And then part three, we're gonna write that in, I already used green and red, so let's go ahead and try a different color. I have no other options here, so I'll go ahead and use orange. So part three of the trip, what we have is right here, drove 30 miles per hour for another two hours. So right there, 30 miles per hour, 30 MPH for two hours. So remember, we need the entire trip. All right, so since we're looking for the rate for the whole trip, the distance we're gonna plug in is for the whole trip. The time we're gonna plug in has to represent the whole trip. It's just like proportions, you know, compare the same things in the same way. Distance, rate, time represent the same scenario in the same way. So let's go ahead and understand how we're gonna do that. So how are we gonna find the distance to plug it in? How are we gonna find the time to plug that in? Well, time is gonna be the easiest one. Because with time, all you're gonna do is literally add up the entire time. 
that Greg was traveling. So we see here that 40 miles per hour for two hours, a one hour break, and then two hours at the end. Two plus one plus two, five, cinco, right? So there it is. So we have five total hours here, five total hours. Again, the entire trip, entire means everything, everything, including a one hour break. And so then if you're asking, okay, what about the distance for the whole trip? Because again, we can't plug it in unless we are representing the same thing. So, well, doesn't the formula read distance equals rate times time? Yeah, it does. So what are we gonna do? Well, for this first part here in purple, the distance for that first part is gonna be rate 40 miles per hour times time, two hours. And so for those of us that may be a little confused in terms of how I know that's the rate, Remember that the word per, so miles per hour, that gives it away. Mixing the distance and time together, so a speed, that gives away your rate. The word per gives it away. The phrase for every also gives it away. And so there it is, 40 times two, that gives us 80 total miles. So with that, booyah, that is 80 miles for that first part of the trip. Now for the second part, we see that we took a one hour break, so the distance equals well, my rate is zero times one hour, which is still gonna be zero. So we have zero miles for that second part of the trip. And then lastly, for the third part, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself just a little smaller here. That way I have the room to go ahead and work this out. Ah, so here, 30 miles per hour for two hours. That's gonna be 30 times two, which is 60 miles. And so therefore, we're good. We have 80 miles plus zero miles plus 60 miles that's going to be 140 total miles add that together that's going to be 140 total miles again that's for the entire trip that's for the entire trip and so now that we have the distance for the entire trip and the time for the entire trip now we can go ahead and find the rate for the entire trip you see where i'm coming from now exactly and so before i finish off with the calculation all i ask is that if you like this video please go ahead and like this video and go ahead and just show some love with a comment and subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask. Please and thank you. It helps support us. But back to it. Let's go ahead and solve this here. We have the distance is 140. And that's going to equal our rate that we're looking for. I'll just write that in black times five hours. Or you can also write this as 140 equals 5R. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. But lastly, all we have to do here is go ahead and divide both sides by five and we are good. So 140 divided by five, that's gonna give us 28, 28 miles per hour once it's all said and done right there. And that's why the answer here is A, booyah, we are all good. And so my part of people, listen, um, we have a class, a free class once a week. It also includes a free practice test that you can enroll in too. It's all about love here. We want to make sure that you get the ASVAB score that you want and the military job you deserve. Let's go ahead and avoid that test anxiety. Let's put in that work and hopefully I'll see you in class. And so with that said, my part of people, again, see you there. Click. Don't wait. Let's go. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.